Got part of the deck done, taken apart. And I'm replacing the skirting on my mobile home. I put this plywood in 14 years ago. And we want to build a new landing outside the patio doors. So I have to change the skirting first. And what I'm going to use is concrete backer board. Figured the plywood lasted 14, 15 years, so uh, I definitely thought my days of working at the end of a shovel were gone. But here I am digging a trench. And I've got some diagonal pieces hanging down. And they're attached to the outriggers. And that'll be for the bottom support. So the trench is to prevent rodent infestation and frost heave. So I've got 32 inch wide boards and I'm making my trench you know, about 36 inches from the top of the where the skirting attaches. You can see the ledger board right there. Right here. So from here to the bottom of the trench there's got to be 36 inches and then it will be lined with landscape fabric and then filled with pea gravel and rodents can't burrow through pea gravel uh, some boards from taking the deck apart they'll be reused for now it's a multi-stage process so, like I said I don't know if I'm going to publish this or not I don't want this to become a mobile home cha repair channel, but and this is kind of experimental too. So I'm just replacing the skirting up to here, just enough to get the from the corner to the to the deck done. So we're progressing slowly on it. Uh, this is starting to get leveled out a bit. And I'm doing down the edge of the driveway with the excess. So there's my vent and it's 14 high by 28. So I've got 32 inch wide panels. And I got about a 28 inch exposure there. So I've got 4 inches buried. And if I can get a good shot of this, landscape fabric and then three quarter crush underneath and then the gravel driveway on top of it and inside can I get enough light here there is a brace with a cross piece to hold it and that holds it level and then three quarter crush all the way in on the inside so, because I'm very slightly anal retentive, this is going into a two by. So I got my square set at three quarters of an inch. And try to make everything consistent. I'll reset it at one inch. This is the back of the board that I'm marking. And I've got my measurements marked down here where I want my screws. And it's seven or eight inches. and varies a little bit so I can get it um, so 
symmetrical. And down the side, it's every six inches. So now with a concrete bit and a piece of scrap underneath, I can pre-drill all my screw holes. This panel gets a vent. So I start four inches from the top, strike a chalk line, 16 inches in from each end, strike a chalk line, and 18 inches from the top. Gives me a 14 by 28 vent access panel. I'm going to cut that with the circular saw and my straight line jig. And I'm just using a regular carbide blade, which is killing the blade. But I can buy two or three carbide blades cheaper than I can buy a concrete blade. So I'm sacrificing a blade to the cause. So we'll get that cut out. We'll just finish it off with a jigsaw. And there's my next piece ready to go up. Well, it's a cloudy, rainy day, but we got the last piece put in today and backfilled. So I still got to get hump leveled out. Well, I got some extra gravel. I've got to get the frames for the doors and the screens put in them and the rest of the deck built back on and I threw a whole bunch of gravel underneath there I don't know if you can see it for when I do the front this fall so yeah I did all that so I could build an 8x8 landing in front of the patio doors here so, after we get that leveled out, and there's going to be some settling happening, so once I get all that finished up with, we'll get on to building a landing, or a small deck, an 8x8 deck. My vent and access holes. I get the piece that was actually cut out of there. You can see I've used some construction adhesive and put the little spacer on and if I can do this with one hand there we go that's winter time mode you fit right in there Well, these vents are just pressure treated wood put together with half lap joints and I'll we'll take a walk back now these, these are three quarter inches in thickness and the concrete board is only a half inch thick which is why I made those pieces that I showed earlier and they will be the summertime mode so I just got to put some screening over that and that should give me plenty of ventilation once they're put in so you can see the pieces I put in right here with a little rabbit and then that stops it from falling in and a little rabbit joint right there 
So I've got the screen put in here, and I've got nylon screen and backed up by quarter inch hardware cloth and a million staples. Now, let's see if I can get this right off the bat here with one hand. It pops in there, and I looked for a toggle. Or turn, but I couldn't find any, so I made my own. And all I did was take a quarter inch mending plate, a zinc mending plate, and screwed on a, an inch of dowel onto it, and put some construction adhesive on there. And I think those work okay. So, critter and bug proof. <laughs>